Hello, everyone. Welcome to another mini episode on IGC Coaching School. If we haven't met yet, my name is Livia Chapman. I am the co founder and CEO of IGC, and we have trained and certified thousands of professional credentialed life coaches and coaches and business coaches and marketing coaches and relationship coaches. And I'm here to answer all of your questions. So we get a lot of questions and comments on social media and our DMs, and of course, submitted to our podcast, Six Figure Certified. And we are doing a round of mini episodes answering those pressing and most popular questions. And like I said, we have trained thousands of coaches at this point. We've helped thousands of women make millions of dollars. And over the last decade, we have learned a lot about what works and what doesn't. And so I promise you are in a good place to get your questions answered by a legitimate source being me. Okay. Welcome to the show. Let's talk about the most common submitted question literally of all time. That is, how do you actually become a life coach? And if you ask anyone on the internet, they will say, oh, you don't need a certification. You just can be one. You can have life experience if you've been through it and da, 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 da. I don't believe that. We don't prescribe to that. We believe that your life experience personally, professionally, traumatically, unfortunately, those can all be a value add. But if you don't actually know how to coach in an ethical, mindful, professional way, the likelihood that you have longevity in business is very, very small. Surveys uh, through the International Coach Federation and all of their research show that a resounding 87% of consumers want to pay for coaching with a coach who is certified or credentialed. So the first thing is your life experience is great. It's a huge value add. It often helps you define your niche, but it is not the only thing. The main thing that you need to become a life coach is to number one, make sure it's what you want to do. Make sure that you are extremely passionate about helping other people, changing lives that change other lives, accountability. That's a huge one. And obviously step one there is being accountable to yourself, but you want to make sure that the idea of coaching, so coaching typically happens you know, a minimum of three months, like you meet with a client weekly or every other week for a minimum of three months and you help them stay on track with their goals. Can you be in a longer term relationship? Can you stay present with a client for longer lengths of time? These are not one-off type of relationships. Typically they're longer, they're longer term. And you have to ask yourself, like, do I want this? Do I want to be able to hold people accountable? to be with them in this type of container for at least three months. And if that lights you up, if that makes you feel like, oh my God, I like that, I want to do that, then keep reading, keep watching. The next thing you wanna do is find a legit program. You want to actually be trained. You can come at me all the time and say, well, training doesn't make you a good coach. Well, lack of training doesn't either. So I would prefer, and clearly the data shows that consumers prefer to have a coach with some level of legitimacy. It's going to make you stand out in the marketplace. And there is no better marketing than being really great at what you do. So if you are getting clients results, you are going to see longevity in your business. This is not a hit it or quit it kind of thing. I do not teach any get rich quick schemes. I don't know any. I'm 10 years in and we are still going and growing and glowing. But if you want to have longevity in business, if you want this to be something long-term, then you need to be really great at it. The last thing you need are people complaining that you suck. That is going to kill your business more than anything else. In that case, uh, what is that saying? People say all publicity is good publicity. No, being canceled on the internet is not going to be great for your coaching business, your trust factor, any of it. So you want to get certified. Whether you get certified and go through with the ICF or International Coach Federation credential is up to you. But you want to get certified by a training institute like IGC that has the ICF accreditation. It's the only global governing body of coaching. They stand behind ethics and professionalism and the core competencies, which are just like the basic skills of coaching, which are are weaved into our curriculum, which is you know, six to 12 months, depending on if you want to go level one or level two. And we'll answer more on that in another video, but you want to be trained. 
And those credentials just open up more doors for you. You may think you only want to do one-on-one coaching, but who knows? Maybe you do want to go into an organization. Maybe you want to secure one of those fat contracts from a big company like some of our students have. That credential and that ICF stamp of approval on your certificate is going to get you in the door. The next thing you want to do is either choose a niche or a need. So you want to identify something specific that you want to help with. You need to be very tuned in. Now, this is something that people also debate about in the industry. We teach everyone to be able to coach anyone around anything. When you have the coaching skills, you will be able to do that. But when you are marketing, when you are telling people about what you do, it is so much easier and so much faster to get clients when you've really honed in on a niche or a need. What is the need that your potential clients have that they will also pay for? Okay, so you got to really think about, will a lot of people need or want a lot of things, but what do they need or want that they will actually pay for? Okay, and then everything, all roads lead to Rome in that department. So you want to be talking about it, posting about it, writing about it, making reels or making YouTube videos about it, whatever it may be, everything's going back to that niche. Okay, so we have do a little self-assessment. We have get certified. We have choose your niche. Okay, figure out what you want to actually be coaching around. Practice your coaching skills, establish your business, and of course, start marketing and getting hired, right? I know I'm dumbing this down and making it seem easier than it is. It's not easy. Marketing is not always easy. Sales are not always easy. But if you are supported and you've gone through training that includes business and marketing and sales and all of that, you will be able to do this. But again, the very first things you want to do are make sure it's what you want to do because it's a huge commitment to be successful in this space. It is not a get rich quick scheme. You are literally working with humans and helping them change their entire life. So make sure you know what you're signing up for. The next thing, you want to get reputable training, get certified, get credentialed. You want to choose your niche or what need you're coaching to, and you want to start talking about it, marketing it all the time, okay? And you want to start getting practice, whether you want to get pro bono clients to start with or lower cost clients, or you want to just have people start paying you, that's what you need to do. It's going to help you figure out what you love coaching around. It's going to get you some testimonials. And it's going to help you essentially be able to move your business forward faster. We do believe and we do teach that you should be getting clients while in a training course. The best thing about that is that you have this supportive community, you have your mentors, you have your trainers. And so if you're having an issue with a client or getting a client, you have this this, uh, board of directors, if you will, to go to. So it's very much a a, to a degree, a learn as you go type of environment. And also, if you are going to be that woman or that human or that person that decides to start a business, there is no need in the coaching industry for you to take a year or more making a return on your investment. Coaching is one of the quickest ways to get into business and to start making money. It is not a get rich quick scheme. However, you do not need an inventory. You do not need a manufacturer. You do not need a building. The only thing you really need is a training course, hopefully, that you do that, uh, and a computer and a phone, which you probably have and are probably spending an obscene amount of time on anyway. So, not why not spend an obscene amount of time on your phone actually generating leads and making money and potentially hopefully going through a training program. So I hope this helps. You want to get trained. You want to start talking about what you're doing. Tell one person every day and stay tuned for the next video because we're going to get more into that marketing and sales piece. I promise I'm not just going to be like, go tell everyone what you do and leave it at that. There is so much more to the story. But if you want to be a life coach, I think you have the next steps and we'll leave the next step for you in the notes. See you next time.